Sitting down for close-up, Jason Kander, a 36-year-old rising star in the Democratic Party, says President Trump's official attempt to uncover widespread voter fraud is in itself a fraudulent enterprise. You are more likely statistically to be struck by lightning as an American than you are to commit voter impersonation fraud. Kander was Secretary of State in Missouri from 2013 until earlier this year. He lost a bid for U.S. Senate in 2016, but is now heading up a new organization aimed at preserving voting rights. His former colleague and fellow Democrat, New Hampshire Secretary of State Bill Gardner, has agreed to serve on the president's electoral commission. I'll let Bill speak for himself, but, but the commission as a whole has a pretty clear purpose. And the purpose of the commission is to take this giant lie, the really the biggest lie that a sitting president has ever told, that three to five million illegal voters voted in the election, which, by the way, just happens to be the margin by which the president lost the popular vote. I think that has a little to do with why he came up with that lie. But the idea behind the commission is just to formalize that lie. Republican Party Chair Jeannie Forrester commends Gardner's willingness to serve and says Cantor has no standing to criticize, saying New Hampshire has tougher voting laws and higher turnout. It's troubling to me that New Hampshire Democrats would want to listen to somebody who doesn't have a record uh, as good as we have in New Hampshire. As far as presidential aspirations, Mr. Cantor says he's flattered by the attention, but for now is, quote, making sure we are still holding elections in this country.